I think it was a deliberate act of naming that on Sesame Street, mm. the puppets, Muppets, were all called monsters. C is for cookie. Yeah. That good enough and So, for But me. they're yeah. lovable and playful and <laughs> yes. colorful. And so I think it was an int intended to de-scarify yes. a monster in the eyes of small children. Yes. These are lovable monsters. Yes. And so now you're going to talk about a monster, I'm just going to laugh at you. That's right. Because the right. Mo monsters are- Monsters teach you the alphabet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. They save rabbits and they teach you how to count. 100%. No, no, no. That was the count who taught you how to count. Oh, that's a good ah, point. Ah, get my get, get ah. your character straight, dude. <laughs> you're from the UK. What, yeah. what do you know? Right. Is, is well, a vampire not a monster? I don't there know. There you go. Yeah. Right. Is a vampire a monster? Ooh. Absolutely it was, right? When the original Vlad, right, the impaler, mm -hmm. right, and was later on died and then people in Transylvania area, not Transylvania itself, but that area of Eastern Europe wanted to scare their kids. They said, be careful because Vlad will come get you even though he's dead, right? And the concept of the undead, which had been around for thousands of years in folk mythology, got embodied in this one guy, Right, Count mm. Dracula, which was then brought into modern times by Bram Stoker, and then into the movies with Bela Lugosi, right? And you kind of went and from Tom there. Cruise, yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> Don't forget yeah. Tom Cruise. Interview with the vampire. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Lestat. <laughs> yes. So that kind of um, atrocity, right, is literally a human being that has become something non-natural. So the evil comes from. Not the fact that he's not human, but because he used to be a really bad human 